so you guys let me show you one thing that would help you in terms of your like varicose vein i try to use you know this is actually my grandma's you know old recipe that when she couldn't work okay because she had some arthritis on her leg and all of that okay so this is actually what helps her so let me share this with you and you are definitely going to be happy okay with this so you guys in here i have my gloves okay you can order this online if you cannot you know um buy it in your market you can order it online so gloves you know is loaded with a lot of nutrients and natural you know ingredients that helps your body and your skin okay so um what we're gonna do i'm gonna get my very small mortar all right and then i'm gonna take just a few of my gloves into my mortar Okay, so that would be enough. So please like this video and also don't forget to share the video. All right, so this is what you're gonna do you're gonna pound your gloves. Alright, so to enable me to pound it very well, I'll be needing the next ingredients and the next ingredient is my garlic. So I have some garlic here and you're going to be needing a good amount of garlic, you guys. You're going to be needing a very good amount of garlic. All right, you guys, so let me cut this into smaller pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna be transferring that into my blender and blend and uh, sorry my mortar not blender. I used to mix these things up a whole lot, you guys. Forgive me. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna be pounding these two together very well. This will actually help me. So you guys sometimes get tired you know and then you need some natural homemade remedies like this one you know that does not have any side effect okay that's actually what you need very natural remedy without side effects So I'm going to go ahead and pound this behind the camera right now. Alright you guys, so in here I have my um, gloves and garlic well pounded. However, I mean I can't pound it smoother than this except i use a blender which of course is too small for blender to blend very well for me okay so what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna be turning that into
okay you guys so this is it and now this is what you're going to do we're going to be needing our olive oil okay we're gonna need olive oil to mix this up So then you're going to then put a good quantity of your olive oil. Into your garlic and gloves. And then you stir and mix it together really, really good. So for this, you're going to turn it into your container that you're going to store it, okay? So make sure you store it in an airtight <coughs> container, like this one that I have here. So this has a lid that you have to cover it up. You guys, for this particular one, you don't actually use it till after two days okay if you're having leg pain um, rheumatism you know varicose veins arthritis you have gotten a solution so don't use this immediately you're done preparing it like this see you need to get a cliffing nylon just like what i have here see, this is my cliffing nylon okay and then now before i cover this up i want to make sure that hair does not actually go inside of this so i'm going to be opening this up and we're going to use that to cover this And then when I cover it with nylon bag, and then I'll now use the lid to cover it. Now the essence why I'm actually putting nylon bag is so that this could be concentrated. Like there'll be enough heat that would get into this, you know, treatment, and then it would ferment really, really fast. Okay, the more it ferments, the healthier and the more effective it will be. So this is how you're going to use it after two days, like 48 hours of keeping this and making sure you keep it in a very warm place and so that it could ferment. So after which you have kept it and then it has fermented, like you now open it up, keep the nylon bag, don't throw it away. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to use just the oil. You're going to use just the oil. And then you're going to massage it onto your pain area. Let's say you have leg pain, arthritis, rheumatism, varicose veins, and all of those pains. Then you massage this thing very, very well onto those areas where you have those leg pain. Let's say this is my joint. Okay. Make sure you massage it at the joint area just like this. And then you press it in you press it in just like that press it in now you're gonna be feeling this warm sensation it's gonna be warm on your skin okay as you press it in so do not worry that's how it works then you leave it on there okay then you apply it again and again and again until the pain go away. However, this particular treatment, you don't need to throw it away. Still continue keeping it, like covering it up. 
the more it ferments the more effective it will it will become so yeah you guys so i've gotten a rheumatism arthritis and varicose vein pain you know removal for you you have that go try this out and you're gonna come back to say thank you thank you guys so much for watching and god bless you